peace, love, and blessings from me to each and every one of you guys out there. As you can tell, I am very excited because we have finally made it to day number 30. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many feelings that are associated with accomplishing something that you set out to do. And those feelings include joy, you feel pride, you feel really happy that you uh, complete whatever it is that you set your mind to. There's a quote that I saw, this quote said basically, it is impossible to beat somebody who is just persistent, who goes day in, uh, day out, they just put it in that work, all right? So consistency is key. Thank you for being consistent for 30 days, showing up, showing yourself some love, getting that activity and building strength and endurance with me. Now, for today's workout guys, we've got uh, three rounds, three circuits, and it's gonna be pretty intense. Nonetheless, let's get started. All right, good friends, let's get started with our warm up. So, as always, we're gonna get started with jogging on the spot or marching on the spot in three, two, one. Modification, remember you're marching on the spot just like I am. You bring that knee up in line with the hip. A big smile is on your face because we deserve a smile. We deserve some kind of happiness to show it today in this warm up and throughout this workout. Next move up, you're coming into butt kickers. If you chose to join us on day 30 for the very first time, that's all good. Ready? Let's go. Modify. We're keeping the knee down. You're bringing the heel up. It's good to have you here. If this is your very first time, time is a workout. So remember, you can feel free to scroll all the way right back to the beginning and work your way up to day 30. Be nice and tall in the torso. Bring the fist up to the shoulders. Next movement, jumping jacks. What's the modification look like? There you go. So you just turn it side to side. Tap in, bring those arms up above the head. The abs are engaged. And this is the full movement right here. Up next, we've got twisters. What does twisters look like? Bringing all the hops down and out. We're twisting side to side. Just working on releasing that spine, pivoting on the foot as you twist to either side. Those are the four movements that we usually do for the warm up. We're heading right back to the beginning, jogging on the spot, or marching on the spot. Ready? Three, two, let's go. So you can join me here. I'm gonna lift my knees up a little bit higher. Really wanna work on getting that heart rate up. Send the blood around the body. Put that sweat in. Oh my God, I, can't, I like, literally still can't believe that this is day number 30. I know you guys been working hard and you put it in the sweat. Ready, knees down, heels up. Five kickers. Put that sweat in. The days of soreness. It's all worth it, y'all. You come out stronger. You come up better. You learn some things about yourself along the way, right? That's what it's all about. It's not a destination, it's a journey. Up next, we're coming into jumping jacks. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go. You're gonna start to take the intensity up just a little bit. So if you're doing the jumping jacks, jumping jack a little bit faster. Faster jacks, this is what we call them. <laughs> Relax the knees, keeping them soft as you land on those feet. Coming into twisters or twist hops. Ready? Stay nice and loose. I'm gonna make this move some more fun, but extending the arms out to each side. Almost looks like it could be a dance move or something. Relax the shoulders. We've got one more round, y'all. Head it right back to the beginning with the high knees. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Get those knees up. Come on, give me some more energy. Bring the fist up through the shoulders. Fingertips are spread really wide. Knees are coming up in length the hips. The abs are strong, the abs are ripped. <laughs> Keep them engaged, we got six seconds to go. Five, four, three, butt kickers. Ready, take it now. Get those heels up, we're definitely gonna kick some butt today. We've got three circuits to go through. You're gonna need your dumbbells. Yoga mat and some water, and that will do the trick, y'all. <laughs> Ready? Five, four, three, two, twist hops. No, jumping jacks. You keep breathing.
Relax those ankles, relax the feet. Three seconds to go, two, one. Oh yes, the final move. Relax those shoulders, elbows are high. Twist the hips from side to side. I love that that slogan has become a thing. <laughs> I said it accidentally one day and I was like, hey, it's a little bit of a ring to that. You should keep that. We'll keep going four seconds, three, two, one. And everybody relax. Big breath in through the nose. If you need to hit pause, feel free to do that. Go take a sip of water. Come right back. Let's start by open up the shoulders. So you're doing really big circles. Forward motion. Oh yeah. Opening up the shoulders and taking it back. So same move. Just imagine doing a backstroke. Right now. Great stuff, guys. Now we're going side to side. So we're going to inhale, lifting the left arm up and slight bounce and over to the right. Just switching sides. Remember, we're not holding the stretches. Just working on that range of motion, getting the body loose, preparing it for activity. All right, good stuff. We're coming up to center. From here, guys, let's take it into the hips. So bring your feet just wider than hip distance. I'm going to start with some circles. I want you to focus on keeping the chest lifted here and generate emotion from your hips, all right? It's not in the shoulders and change direction. Breathe. And switch. One more time, switch. All right, great stuff. Cool, so now we're coming down into a deep squat. Turn the toes outward. All right, gonna drop the body all the way down, tail going towards the earth. You can feel free here to place your fingertips on the mat, or you can bring the palms together and use the elbows to open and close the knees, just opening up the hips, the groin. Fingertips come to the mat. I'm gonna shift the body weight into the fingertips and extend into a hamstring stretch. And back to the squat and up to the hamstring. Let's do that two more times. Keep lifting. And one more. Great work. Tucking the chin, bring it all the way up to standing. Let's release the ankles. So point the toes down onto the mat. Draw circles with your heel. As you can see right here, I'm just doing it with my left foot. Change direction. Let's release the wrists while we're here. And switch sides. I hope you guys keep that smile throughout this workout. It's gonna be challenging, but you are tough. You didn't make it this far for no reason, all right? Grab your dumbbells, make sure you got a yoga mat, and get some water. Let's get started with circuit number one. All right guys, welcome back. So I've got my dumbbells, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a demo of all five movements, because once we start, I won't have the time to stop to do more demos, I'll be giving you the cues, okay? So first five movements we got for the legs, we're gonna be working weighted squats, okay? We've got nine kgs here. We're gonna bring the weight between the legs. I'm gonna take the legs wider than hip distance. You're gonna sit back into that squat, keeping the chest lifted. So all the way down, chest is lifted, pressing from the heels up to standing, okay? So we're aiming for 12 to 15 repetitions of this. The second movement we're coming into is lunges. Now we've got uh, two kinds of lunges. We're gonna go for front lunges. Again, 12 to 15 reps on this leg. And then switch legs, 12 to 15. Then we're gonna take it back. So 12 to 15 behind, all different muscles working. And then 12 to 15 on the other side. Move number three, deadlifts. Pay special attention here on keeping the knees slightly, slightly bent. The weight, you want to keep the dumbbells as close to the shins as possible. Remember, everything from the hips upward is frozen in ice. The only thing that really moves is the hinging of the hips. So, the arms are long, knees are bent. You're going to shift the hips backward, taking it all the way down, keeping that spine straight. Okay, so you're looking ahead of you. Do not run your upper back and bring it up. Nice and slow as you lower, and you come up really explosive. Okay, again, 12 to 15. The fourth movement, some cardio, top jumps. Your modification here, you can just do high knees for about a minute. A top jump, 
one, two, three. That's top jumps. And the final movement is a wall set for 30 seconds where we get on the wall and hold it. Those are five moves, guys. For the legs, we're gonna do three rounds of that and yeah, have some fun with it, okay? So if you need at any point, guys, you just head all the way back up to the, to the demo and you rewatch so you can bet. You can get a proper alignment and that you can train safe and intense with me today. If you're ready to start, grab those dumbbells, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the weighted squats. Remember, a minimum of 12, a maximum of 15, three rounds of this entire circuit. Ready? Let's go. One, two, get down nice and low. Three, the lower the better. Four, five, spine straight. Six, seven, you got it. Eight, chest up. Nine, 10, 11, that's the minimum. 12, we're gonna go for 15 here, 13, 14, one more, 15. All right, beautiful work. Now we head into the lunges. I'm gonna start on the left side, left leg forward. Remember the knee and the front leg is always behind the toes. And let's go for 12 to 15 on this leg. Lower that back knee down, one, two, three. You're tall on the torso, four, five, six, Breathe. Seven. Press from that front heel. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Feeling the burn already. <laughs> Twelve. Thirteen. Taking it down. Fourteen. One more for me. Fifteen. Woo! Burn is kicking. This is gonna be fun, y'all. <laughs> so right leg forward this time. Ready? Let's go. Lower and lift. One. Two, three, really press from that front heel. Four, five, control. Six, seven, eight, nine. Your glutes are gonna feel it. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more. Oh, 15. So between each round that we do, the aim is to keep the rest period as minimal as possible. All right, let's take it back with the left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Use the breath. Inhale as you go down. Six, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Seven, eight, up, nine, ten, eleven. You got this. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one. Fifteen. Massive difference adding the weight, man. Really feel this. Taking it back. Come on, be strong. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Drive it up. Five, six. Taking breaks in round one, y'all. Told you it's gonna be fire. We gotta to push today. Uh, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, great work. If you need to drop that weight, you drop the weight. Take a breather, come back, and we're into deadlifts. Remember, feet just outside of hip width. You're gonna keep the bar as close to the shins. Knees are soft, let's go. Keeping the back straight as you lower and lift. One, two, Sit back. 
Relax, thank you, grab a couple body is frozen. 12, don't pull the wrist up to you. you. Just keep it down. Thirteen. Sit back, feel the glutes. Activate the hamstrings, 14. Uno mas, 15. All right. Hope you're still here with me. Remember you got the option here of putting high knees in, or you can join me for 12 to 15 top jumps. Another, another tip with the top jumps, I think you could put about two or three bounces between it. Actually, I'll do that first with you guys. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. You can keep that rhythm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Once you've done that, we've got our wall sit. 30 second wall sit. Ready, set. Six, you go at your pace. Five, four, three, two. Even if you're not here where I am right now. What am I saying? That's a madness. <laughs> Keep the lower back in the wall. Knee and hip alignment. Knee and ankle alignment. Breathe, y'all. This is the end of the first round. Okay? We're gonna do this one two more times. Head right back to those weighted squats from the top. Breathe. Three, two, one. Alright, be out of there. Get that weight. Where's my water? There it is. I'm gonna need some of that in a second. Alright, let's go. Loading glutes as you go down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go see them scores go up on the fitness test. Eleven, twelve. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Lunges. Ha! Huh. Let's change the scenery. Left leg forward. One, two, three, four. Remember, shoulders to the back of the body. Five, six, and then thighs in towards each other. Seven, eight. Oh, 
the core. So now keep your head up. Keep this plane up. That's 12. 13, push from that front heel. 14. 
three. Come on, you got this. Four, oh, five. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Let's help them get the power puff girls. Can I do this? Hope you knew that. We all like power puff girls, right? Two. Three. Four. I was working at 15, I had nothing left. <laughs> Six more. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta drop the weight. Oh, fingertips are burning. Wow, got the reverse to do. You need to stop and put a stretch in as well, guys. Feel free. All right, let's do this. Left leg back. And up. One. Two. Three, squeeze the core. Four. Five. Come on, get low. Six, challenge your limits. Seven, and if you're already challenged, you keep it there. Eight. Nine, take it back. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Don't stop. Thirteen. Whoa, 14 and one more, 15, a switch. You choose. Circuit next. 
keep fighting. Stay there with me. 15 seconds till the end. Once this is over, guys, you're gonna take a sip of water. Then you're gonna come right back and join me for circuit number two. A few moments later. All right, amazing guys. So with the lights out of the way, we're coming now to work in the upper body. So we've got fresh five movements and a couple of them are new. So just like we did before, we're gonna provide you guys with that demo. If you need to skip forward because you're familiar, because you already know the moves, feel free to skip forward. I'll put the time right here that you skip forward to. So for the demo, five movements we got. The very first one is renegade rows. So you're gonna need the dumbbells. I'm gonna give you the option here of keeping the one arm on the dumbbell, one arm without. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that dumbbell, lifting with the elbow, run into the body, to the armpit. What you wanna focus on doing is keeping the elbow, the arm close to the body. You don't want this twisting action with the hips, okay? So lock the spine down, lock the hips down, and let only the arm do the working. You can also take your feet just a little bit wider here uh, to help with your stability. That's the first movement. The full movement, you're gonna do the same thing but standing on both dumbbells, all right? If you're using round dumb dumbbells like I am, we to take care and really focus on stabilizing. You've got the hexagonal dumbbells, they're gonna be a little bit easier to balance, okay? Now, next movement, isometric shoulder press. We're gonna bring the dumbbells onto the shoulder. One arm is gonna extend up and stay up. My stance is split and we're pressing for uh, 12 to 15 reps right here on one arm and then switch. Got it? Move number three, bicep curl with a lateral raise. Nice solid stance. You can either go for hammer curls here like this and then come up into the raise or you can just go for the traditional fist to shoulders bicep curl followed by the raise. Those are 12 to 15 as well. As well. Fourth movement, you're down on the ground we're all familiar with push-ups. Let me modify the push-ups by coming to your knees. And the final movement is burpees. Now, with the burpees, we're not going to fold them all the way down. I'm going to consider a half burpee where we jump up. Modification, you stand up, bend the knees, chest to face, step back to plank, step in, and stand up. That's your modification. Those are the five movements there, guys. Just like they help me work the, work the legs, we put all that stress on them. We're gonna do the same in the upper body. We want you to stay safe, train hard, train intense. Let's have some fun with the renegade rows. So coming down into a solid plank, got the option here, as I said, before the demo, you can use one dumbbell, or you can use two. Solid plank, my legs are just about the width of the mat. Ready? So we're going alternating for 12 to 15. Sorry, 10 to 12. Ready? Let's go. One. And switch. Two. Keep the elbow into the side of the body. Three. Four. Five. Control the hips. Six. Seven. Get a lot of core work in here. Eight. Nine. Come on. Stay strong. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. All right. Great work. Bring it in, we're into the ISO shoulder press. So dumbbells coming onto the shoulders. I'm gonna start on my left side. So my right arm is up nice and tall. Got my left leg forward. Actually, I'm gonna put my right leg forward. Let's go and press. One, two, three, four, five. Control, a six, seven. Lift that weight up, eight. Ten, switch. So the left arm stays up while the right arm works this time. One, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, three, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh, woo! Into the bicep curl with the lateral raise. Some of the options, you can go with the hammer curl. Hammer curl simply means the palms stay in towards the body, or you can come with the upward grip, the palms face in front, okay? So hammer, squeeze, that's one. Lift, one. Switch, curl, 
raise, two. And when you're curling, you don't wanna rock, three. If you need to, you can alternate, doing one arm at a time, four, curl, and lift, five, six, Modification here. Now you come on the tops of the knees, keep the arms nice and wide, and you're taking the chest as low down to the ground as you can. Ready? Arms are wide. Anywhere between 10 and 12 is perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Control. Six. Oh. Alright, let's get those burpees in. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two more rounds to go. Woo! Right back to the top with those renegade rows. Keep that form strict. Take as much rest as you need between. Keep it minimal though. Up. Go right back down onto the mat. Stabilize. Remember, you set it up nice and strong. Get that plank solid. Bring the legs right down the mat. It's not like your traditional plank. Once you're ready, stabilize through the hips. And alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six. So many muscles involved in this move. You take that break and come right back in. I'm gonna start on the opposite side this time. So left arm up, left leg forward. One, two, eight to ten. Three, four, up, five, up, six, seven, breathe. Eight, nine, ten. Switch, girl. One, come on, guys. Two, it's tough. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, come on. Eight, nine, ten. Ha! Drop that weight. <laughs> oh gosh. I got two rex arms already. Shoulders are going through it. Feeling the burn. I hope you guys are making sure that your weights are locked if you're using weights like mine, the adjustable weights. I keep having to re-tighten to make sure they don't fall off and cause me any injury. We don't need that. All right, curls and raises. One, two, two. Left, bend your knees. Curl. Give me noise, y'all. <laughs> oh, the pain, the burn. Five. I would hate to miss count on these ones. <laughs> you guys keep me in chat. Let me know if I'm miscounting. Six. That's 
eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Curl. Ten. All right, we're done for those push-ups. White arms. One. Strong 12. Two. Stay with it. You keep pushing, keep doing the best you can. That's one. Challenge on limits. You finish this thing strong, right? Three. Four. Five. Six. Sweat everywhere. Seven. Eight. The 12, that's 10, 11, 12. You know what's funny? It's not the water I need, it's the lactic acid that's built up in my muscles. Whoa. All right, let's get this final round in. The camera died on me. Is this one so long? Yes, we're still recording. All right. One, two, three, four. Gently place the weight back down. Five, six, seven. You're controlling it. Eight. Hitting that serratus anterior. I mean, it never was a joke <laughs> on any of the other days. As I said, because it's day number 30, it's extra special. Ready? Let's go. We're gonna work them together on the third round, okay? Two, one, go. One, control it down. Slight pause on the top. That's five. Left. Six. Uh, seven. Come on. Uh, eight. Uh, nine. Ten. Whoa, good fight, y'all. Bicep curl, lateral raise. Oh, need a little bit of a break there. Starting to feel the grip, right? Some clutching the dumbbells in the beginning. And even right through to the wall. Get them for our muscles moving. All right, let's go. Y'all just, ah, that's one. Oh, that's serious, man. Curl. Try not to rock when you curl, even though you're fatigued. Ah, that's two. One more. 
Words cannot describe how ugly my face must have been. Doing those bicep curls. All right, we're down, we got those push-ups. Strong 12. Arms away, get as low as you can. Don't cheat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push from the base of the corner. Eight, nine, ten, one, two. Amazing work, y'all. One more move before we close circuit number two up. That's the burpees. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Come on. Down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep it going. Six. Seven. One more, 12. All right, a minute break. We're gonna come into a core circuit and end with a plank. All right, take that break, come right back. Let's get it popping. This looks familiar, right? Bringing it all the way right back to where it began, right here at the red brick wall. Remember like it was yesterday, day number one. Uh, the only difference is today, we're gonna close our 30 days out with a core circuit right here and We've got a fresh five movements. There's the whole body crunch. There's leg raises, weighted Russian twist, so you can get a weight or a water bottle to do uh, this exercise with. We've got multi climbers and side plank with a hip dip. From there, we enter our plank, and that is that. All right, so let's bring it all the way down to the mat. All the exercises we're gonna perform for a total of 20 repetitions. Let's go ahead and get started. If the whole body crunch is too much for you, Feel free just to do regular crunches, okay? So, typical crunch is gonna keep the feet down or elevated and lift and lower for 20 reps, okay? That's the first movement. Whole body crunches, we're coming to tabletop position. Ready, let's go for 20. So shoot the legs and arms up together, engage the core, bring it up to touch the heels. Inhale as you reach out and exhale to lift in. Two, control it. Three, three, four, Squeeze the abs. Six. Let's build that strength. Seven. Eight. Chin away from the chest as you reach back. Nine. Ten. Halfway there. Eleven. Twelve. If you're crunching, lift that chest up as high as you can, y'all. Get the shoulder blades off the mat if you're just doing typical crunches. That's sixteen. 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. All right, beautiful work. The hands now are gonna come under the bum. We're working leg raises. So you're gonna lift the legs up as high as you can and control them as you lower. A lot of the heels to bump the mat. Bend the knees to make it slightly easier if you need that. That's three, we're going for 20 here as well. Four, five, Slow to lower, explosive up. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, keep it going. 17, almost to the end, y'all. 18, 19, that's 20. All right, beautiful. Now we're into the weighted Russian twist. What you can do is you can keep your feet down, grab a water bottle if you need it, and use a dumbbell, about five kg uh, bean bike here. And let's recline back. Remember, the heels are into the mat. Keep the chin away from the chest, and let's go for 20 twists. Just bump that bottle to the side. Two, three, four, five. To make this tougher, six, you lift the legs up, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 
Oh. Alright, over to plank. Mountain climbers. The only difference is here, guys, we're working slow and controlled, right? So hands under the shoulders. Right, if we bring the knee across the body, knee to elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze the core. Seven, eight, keep the spine straight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right, final movement before we head right back to the top. Side plank with a hip dip. Modification, the leg on the bottom, you're gonna keep it extended outward. The leg on the top, you're gonna bring it behind and lift your weight up into that side plank. Got it? This modification, full movement, you stack both feet, elbow on the shoulder, engage the core, lift from the hips, just a string attaching the hips up to the sky, far to your roof, wherever you're doing this workout. You're gonna lift it all the way up, and we're gonna drop the hips down, let them bump the earth, and lift it back up. So 10 on either side, that's two. Lift as high as you can. Three, move from a place of stability. Four, this hand doesn't have to go above. You can use it on the ground for leverage. That's five, six, seven. Place it on the hip, eight, nine, 10. All right, let's switch. Thirty days of work, it must pay off. I'm telling you, increasing strength. Maybe you're seeing some changes in the body. You're sleeping better. Maybe you look forward to these workouts. <laughs> Something has changed, either physically or on the inside. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, beautiful work. We're right back to the beginning with those whole body crunches. That's within the plank. Keep that alignment on point. Six, seven, eight, nine. You got it. Ten. Try to touch the knee to the elbow if you can. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alright, guys, we got two more moves before we come to the ultimate, which is our plank. I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. Let's go lift the hips up. 
10 on either side. Three, four, five. Hope it's your planks being feeling to feel a little bit stronger. Feel like you can hold it for a little bit longer than you did when we first started. Nine. One more. Ten. All right. Keep it rolling. All right, beautiful work, guys. Now, we're coming to the plank. Remember, if you need to, you get a towel. Actually, I will get my towel. We know how important the towel is because of all the sweat that we produce, <laughs> we just end up slipping away while we're doing the plank. So we want everything to be in our favor. If you need to figure out a way to get your feet from sliding, you figure that out. Because we want you to give it your best shot, right? Let's turn to face you guys right here. Make it more personal. <laughs> Ready? 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. It's a countdown. Right there. Five. Four. Three. Two. All right, let's go. One straight line. You find that zone, y'all. Make it final. Let's make it permanent. <sighs> Give it the best shot that you can. Give your time check every now and again. <laughs> or the beeps will sound about. That's 30 seconds down. Every time you hear a beep, if you can hear the beep, that's 30 seconds. That has elapsed, has passed. Keep that bum down, keep the body straight, press through the heels. <sighs> Squeeze the kneecaps so that you're flexing the quads. Elbows on the shoulders, breathe, smile. Remember the smile we started with? Keep that smile rolling, y'all. It's one minute done. Looking good. Sunshine when she's gone. Bum, bum, bum. Halfway there. Just watching this sweat drip down me. My arms, oh my god. Sweat everywhere. Keep fighting. If you fell, dust his knees off and come right back up. All right, crew, that's the final minute left. Only one minute to go. <sighs> Breathe it out, press into those elbows, squeeze the knees, close your eyes if you gotta. <sighs> do what you gotta do to get in that zone to keep you fighting. <laughs> oh yeah. We are approaching the final 30 seconds, y'all. This is the home stretch. We're in record territory. If you've been up the entire time, this is a record right here at Reef 360. Even if you fell out before and you know you broke a record, that's very good. <laughs> 15 seconds, stay there. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, don't fall. 8, 7, you got it. 6, 5, 4, Three, remember we gently place ourselves down, do not collapse. Amazing work. You've made it to the end of Endure. 30 days of sweat, of fun, of my quirkiness. It's been amazing. Let's get a stretch in. Pro properly close uh, this session up. We're gonna start by bringing the hands next to the chest. Bringing it up into Cobra. So elbows are tucked into the side of the body. 
relaxing the shoulders, lifting that head up. Oh yeah. This is always our time to stop and say thank you to our body, to ourselves for making the effort to come out and to move. Gently place yourself down onto the mat, we're shifting back into child's pose. So the knees are the width of the mat, the toes are together. Extend the arms out nice and long. And exhale. Big breath out. Great stuff. Bringing it onto all fours. Let's go into cat cow stretch. So hands under the shoulders, knees under hip points. We're going to inhale, drop the belly down to the earth, head to the back of the body. The hips are tilting forward. And exhale. Tuck everything in into a tight ball. Inhale, lifting the spine. Sorry, arching the belly. And exhale. Lifting the spine. Great work. Let's come up into downward dog. So you're going to press into the palms, spread the fingertips wide. Lift the hips up to the sky. Now, let's walk the feet here. So we're going to bend the right knee, press the opposite heel to the mat. Keep it going, releasing the calves. Let's walk the hands into the feet. Now stay folded here, okay? Just come to the center of the mat. The knees are bent, the chest is on the thighs, relax the neck. Back of the neck is long. We're gonna take the fingertips over to the left side for a lovely twist on that right side of the body. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And take it over to the other side. Just bring it back to center. We're gonna roll it all the way up to stand. And let's hit our quads. So if you need a a uh, wall or a door to help you balance, you do that. Bring the knee, knees together, pointing downwards, zip up through the core, nice and tall on that torso. Bring the heel towards the bum. Let's extend the right arm up to the sky. Keep pressing that left hip forward towards me. And exhale, release the left leg so that the heel is on the ground. You're gonna flex your toes up toward the body, hinging from the hips, shifting the body weight forward, chest falls on to the thigh, fingertips are down towards the earth. Lovely stretch on the back of the leg. All right, let's do that on the opposite side. So bringing it up and up, reaching back, grabbing that right instep. Remember, find your balance. Knees are down together. Right hip is pressing towards me. Reach your left arm up. When you've had enough, you extend that same leg outward. Chest all the way down to thighs. Oh, this side is a lot tighter than the opposite side. You can barely get my fingertips down to the mat. Right, let's bring it all the way up to standing. We're gonna bring the right arm across the chest, relaxing the shoulder. Still breathing nice and deep, y'all. Keeping that smile on the face. This has truly been an amazing 30 days working with you. Getting to meet some of you guys, virtually that is. Inhale, bring the fingertips up above the head, we're gonna press them up towards the sky. And exhale, releasing the arms. Inhale, reaching up nice and tall. And exhale, releasing one more time. Inhale, bringing it up. And exhale, bringing the arms all the way down. Give that body a lovely shake out, y'all. As I said before, I'm truly thankful for having the opportunity to spend this time with you guys to share my craft with you and help. Uh, slash assist you guys uh, re in reaching your fitness goals. Thank you so much for joining me for the final workout, day number 30. I can't believe the words are here, but it's been an amazing journey. I hope you've seen lots of progress. As I've said before, guys, those of you guys who are here from day number one, working your way up to day 30, don't forget, give yourselves about a day or two of rest and then go back and redo the fitness test. I'm gonna place a link right here for the fitness test. Go back and do that, see how you've improved. It's always good to see where you started and the changes that have taken place over that particular period of time. All right, you guys keep sharing that love and that inspiration to those who you come to contact with. Share this workout, share my channel, share the love with everybody who you know, your friends, your family. And as always guys, you get up, you get out, and you get moving. Peace.